Good morning and welcome back. Day two of Aaron's public policy member meeting. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the social last night. Good times. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to uh, do a little, a few opening announcements about what today consists of. So uh, first, welcome back our remote participants. I know you're out there. Uh, all the remote participants have access to the webcast, the live transcript, downloadable meeting materials, and the virtual microphone and polling, uh, which we're doing via Slack this time. Uh, you must be registered in order to be a remote participant participating in the microphone and the consensus polling. Um, because there's a live transcript, because we have remote participants, I ask you speak slowly and clearly, okay? Some nice person's over there transcribing this. Some of you talk fast. I actually talk exceedingly fast if I'm not careful, but uh, please take your time, say your comments clearly. Okay, I'd like to thank our sponsors, WebPass, Google Fiber, and Google. Some of you didn't clap. We're gonna turn off your Wi-Fi access shortly, okay? Next time I get this up, I wanna hear a lot of applause. Okay, so download the meeting app. We've taken uh, time to have a, a meeting app which has uh, the ability to see the agenda, uh, get information on all the events, very useful. Rules and reminders, okay, the, when we get into the policy discussions, the chair's gonna moderate the discussions so everyone has a chance to speak and be heard. State your name and affiliation clearly at the microphone. Please comply with the courtesies in the guide, okay? You must respect one another. There is a standards of behavior. If we have a problem, please bring it to me. We'll deal with it. Today's agenda, we have the uh, Number Resource Organization Number Council Report. That's also what we affectionately refer to as the ASOAC. Um, we have the IANA Numbering Services Review Committee. Uh, we have a um, service level agreement uh, with ICANN uh, to provide IANA numbering services. We have a review committee that reviews their performance uh, made up of uh, participants from all five RIRs and they'll give a report. We're gonna cover uh, this morning a draft policy, recommended draft policy 2017-13, removing the Aaron review requirements on large IPv4 reassignments. We're gonna have uh, updates from our uh, fellow RIRs from AFRINIC, LACNIC, and APNIC. We'll have uh, another draft policy in 2017-10, repeal of the immediate need for IPv4 address space. Um, we'll have a ripe update. Um, then we'll have the IANA PTI. The IANA is performed um, by the Public Technical Identifiers Organization. So we'll have the president come of PTI uh, and give us a status on what they're doing. We'll have a presentation about uh, some initiative communication that Aaron's doing in IPv6 case studies. Um, we know some of you have done a great job deploying IPv6 and by writing that up and sharing it with others, it makes the road a little easier for them. Then we'll have lunch. Um, then we'll do an internet number resource status report, which is the report across the RIRs that give the status of the address pools. Afternoon will include the draft policy 2017-3, which is the update to NRPM uh, 36 annual POC validation. We'll have a report on transfers and how those are doing. We'll have a report on our software development activities, uh, our website redesign update, and then we'll do recommended draft policy 2017-12, uh, requiring new POC validation on reassignment. We'll have a discussion, uh, RDAP update, and we'll do an open mic session. The open mic will cover uh, any topics that have come up, but also cover anybody who wants to comment on any of the open consultations we have at Aaron. That takes place during the open mic at the end of today. So, uh, with that, I will introduce the head table. This is Paul Guy. <laughs> uh, and I see Tina, and I say, see Leif, and Bill Sandiford, and oh my God, um, Chris Tassett. You know, I'm sitting here, Tassett. I'm like, no, tactical, tac I don't know, crap, Chris, Chris Tassett. 